What's up everyone, Kawaii Crew here, here to react to episode 6 of Ari Fred, season 3, last episode where we left off. It was pretty much um, all about the aftermath of the Rat Beastman's whole raid on the castle and the king and all that. We got to see all of the uh, Beastmen being reun reunited with their families and all that. And we saw Hajime and the gang spending time in that elf village. And we also got to see Cam being offered the role of Village Elder. Yes, I know it's a title. Um, and uh, Cam's not actually that old. Um, but Cam refused. And I believe that in the last episode, we also got to see a very sweet scene with Hajime and Shia. We got to see them, just those two, um, like on that big-ass tree. Um, standing in that big ass tree, we also got to see them on the big ass tree, and that's where we also got to see Hajime, um, Shia lap pill basically. Shia um, offering a lap pillow to Hajime, and yeah, really nice scene. And what the last episode left off um, was where we we got to see a post credit scene where it looked like um, we saw pre isekai hajime again and however yue was there yes we saw pre isekai hajime waking up in the morning um however yue is there so yeah uh, what what exactly is going on there we're just gonna have to find out other than that without further ado let's get to it all right everyone here we go episode six of ari for the season three. <laughs> oh shit Sensei in her class again. Well, this is one hell of a reunion. Uh huh. Yet, <laughs> yet. <laughs> Nothing happened yet. <laughs> When you were assaulted, not almost assaulted. Yep, she definitely has a thing for him. Here we go! Hartina's Labyrinth. Mm 
You know, I'm starting to see, I, th I feel like a m large majority of fantasy worlds these days just love their big ass trees, don't they? Okay, sure, you'll be the first one that gets hit if, ever, if anything goes wrong. <laughs> you'll be the first casualty. The human meat shield. Oh, God! Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh! They're fakes! Damn, he instantly knew! <gasps> but when did this happen though? I mean, Yoya is his girl, and and a man gotta know his girl. I mean, based on what on the after credit scene uh, that we saw in the last episode, I can only assume that Yue was sent to that freaking version of Hajime. Maybe. Like that UA that we saw in the app in the post credit scene, that was probably the real UA. You know, if those bees are like CGI, then it's a vast of improvement compared to like season one and two. Because I'm actually not sure. Either that or I'm just fucking stupid. I mean, they could be 2D, but I'm not sure. Is that? Oh, goblins! There's women around, so you probably should, yeah, just kill it right away. Oh! Really? What? What? Bruh. 
Bro, oh, what? See guys, this is why you shouldn't trust me when it comes to making theories. <laughs> you can't expect me to know what exactly what's going on at times. Ah, yes. Uh, very beautiful eyes. Indicative of Yue. Yes. What the hell is that? Bro, <laughs> this dude. <laughs> oh, no, goblin on goblin violence. Ah, yep, that one makes sense. Oh man, hearing Teal's voice coming out of a goblet is just hilarious. Whoosh! Hajime once again pull out the big guns. This is okay, yep. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what we saw in the after credit scene was like the second part. The second stage of the labyrinth. Okay. Ah, but wait! What if this is all a dream? What if what if uh what if the UA isn't some uh, lusty vampire, but instead some, um, but instead Hajime's childhood friend that he has a crush on? What if she and Tio never existed? Now the question is, of course, is this the real Hajime in UA? Have they all been, have they all had their minds manipulated? Well, Shia does exist. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Yeah. 
Okay, I know I know I have a, I'm not good with theories, but I'm gonna go ahead and say it right now. Tio is the teacher, isn't it? If Tio is not the teacher, then I I'm I'm. Oh my god, it's it's regular pre-stab cowry. The size difference. Oh my god. But I got it right! Yes! God damn. If only Hajime's actual teacher was this fine. Oh my god! Oh, Mew as an Emoto, that is just too- oh, that is just too much for my heart. Even nerfed Shia can still beat people up. That's great. Good God! Oh, he's coming too? Damn! Didn't need to punch him yourself. Didn't need to punch himself that hard.
The whole screen shake, the whole back background shattering into a million pieces. Hajime's like speech. Oh my god, that whole scene was just perfect. <laughs> oh, oh, and who can forget the OST playing in the background? Oh my god. Who does this voice belong to? Oh, we got another stage? Or is it Hajime just waking up? Oh no! You're always gonna be used to make Jurassic Park! Um, but yeah, overall, pretty great episode of R.I. Fred of Season 3. We gotta see uh, the teacher and the other classmates again, if only for a short while. I mean, th this episode was pretty much mainly about Hajime and how much... And how much he knows Yue. Like, even when she morphed into a fucking goblin, even when she was like some delusion, like, he, he could just see through it all. Honestly, that's that's the type of love all men should aspire to have. It's kind of like that uh, that that age old question: Would you still love me if I was a worm? <laughs> Only this time, it's: Would you still love me if I morphed into a goblin? But yeah, again, overall, another great episode of uh, Ari Fred of Season 3. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter, and I will see you guys next time.